Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood IT guy. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And being from the internet, I can tell you how to revive a dead system, that's for sure. Anyways, this is an Acer computer. I've had many an Acer come past my desk, and I can tell you everything I do to get these things going. This is the first Acer that came out with a touchscreen when Windows 8 came out, and I was the only one who actually came to the store looking for anything to do with the Windows 8. And man, I've had this thing forever i've been using it all the time i've killed this thing so many times for the longest time i was just running geez what was i run i was i was mining bitcoin with it and then i was using world community grid and so many times this thing just stopped working so these are the steps that i took to make it work again it should be said that this thing i'm pretty sure last time i blew it out, i blew it out right good i don't think i'm going to be able to get it going but these are the steps that i have taken in the past to resurrect this system from the dead first off Take the battery out, unplug it from the wall. You got your wall plug, you got your wall plug. Make sure that that thing is unplugged. Do not have it plugged in. And take your system, flip her over, open her up, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds. So what this does is it gets all of the power out of the system. Sometimes your only real issue is that uh, you got power, you got in some place it shouldn't be, or something is just malfunctioning. So by now I can tell you flat out, there's absolutely no power going through the system. So the next step is to plug it in. So once you got it all plugged in again, try the power one more time. And oh my God, it actually came back. Wow, okay, I thought it was actually toast that time. Okay, all right. So that's how you get this thing working. Last time I, I actually, I tried this method and uh, it wasn't doing it. It absolutely would not turn on. I was sure that I finally burnt this thing out, having it on World Community Grid for so long. World Community Grid puts you as part of an IBM supercomputer where they give you calculations. You do those calculations, you send them back, and these calculations are to solve the world's problems. You gotta say, boys, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, another trick that you can try to get this thing on is if it turns on and nothing comes on, if you can get like a light, if it seems like your system is lighting up, lighting on, but nothing's coming up, hit the F2 button or the F10 or the F11 or 12 button. Now, if you're still not having any luck with anything after all this stuff, you're gonna have to go in deep and this is not for the faint of heart because Acer have made their systems unbelievably hard to get into. And if you're not aware of just how to get into it, odds are you're gonna mess something up and you're gonna break something. So there is going to be a battery the size of a quarter on the inside of this unit. And when you get in there, when you see that battery, you take that battery out for about 30 seconds and then you plug her back in. But um, you'll have to look up your specific unit and look up a teardown video. And you know what, you just, you're gonna want someone more professional than yourself to be doing this, all things considered. But ultimately, yeah, those are the steps that you need to take to get your Acer computer working again. Unplug it, take the battery out, Press and hold the power down for about 30 seconds. Plug everything back in and away you go. Once again, if the lights don't come on or if the lights come on, but nothing comes on up here, press and hold or F2, F2, F10, F F12 and see if anything comes up. But it works. That's how it goes. Like and subscribe if I've helped you out here. I really appreciate it, folks. And I hope I have helped. That's it for me, folks. Take care of each other. Have a good one.